Petit. Ricocheted off the head of Sherwood. Up in the air by Overmars. Blackburn seemed to stand off it. Petit has played it forward for Overmars. Flowers is out, but this time he can't stop him. Almost a carbon copy of the incident moments before when Ian Wright came through. Flowers won that tussle, but couldn't beat the Flying Dutchman. First blood to Arsenal, the lofted pass from Petit and the cool finish from Mark Overmars. Becker ahead of him, and he's timed his run well, he's onside. Three waiting for the cross, just over the head of Wilcox. Now it's cropped, still the danger hasn't gone for Arsenal. Sutton, and Wilcox with his right foot this time. Kenner to McKinley. This is as threatening as Blackburn have been, it's Gallagher. And now Wilcox for a third time. Made good contact, but it was like a... Well, no wonder Seaman's smiling. And Adams looks relieved, because that's a real let-off for the home side. So rare that you see Adams hustled off the ball like that and then misplace a back pass. And then it was all down to Gallagher against Seaman, and it was Keogh that saved the day with the block. Ripley's corner. Up in the air by Keogh. Seaman's come for this. McKinley. Wilcox. And Adams both together. Defending. There's Keown. Now it's Sherwood. Four blue and white shirts. Sutton couldn't make it, nor could Gallagher. Anna McKinley. Seeking out Ripley. Adams across for Arsenal. Poor clearance straight to Kenner. Sutton. Sherwood was at a hand. It's Wilcox and it's 1-1. Evident delight on the faces of the visiting players. They've worked hard for this equalising goal. The presence of Sutton and of Sherwood crucial. And the coup de grace delivered by the man from Farnworth, one of the few local players in the Blackburn Rovers side, and also their longest serving man on the start. Gallagher. Ripley available far side. By a fine challenge from Winterburn, using all this great experience. Right, squaring up to Oncho. Well, he says the old aggression is back, and on the evidence of one or two little flare-ups, it is. Sutton shielding it from Keo. Wilcox, Croft, third count, Sutton's flick, and here's Gallagher, takes it first time, oh what a goal by Kevin Gallagher, magnificent is the only word that describes that, Real route one, but that's not to denigrate it whatsoever. All the way from the goalkeeper. The flick by the tall striker Sutton, in fact it may have come off the defender. And from that point on it was all down to Kevin Gallagher. Surely one of the finest goals that the experienced little striker has ever scored and it puts Blackburn in front. Dixon. Winterburn. On for Bergkamp. Olsho trying to get goal side of him. Appeals for handball against Kenner. And the 
corner is all the referee signals. And he's also reaching for his pocket to deliver a yellow card to Dennis Bergkamp for making a signal that suggested the referee's eyesight wasn't all it might have been. Flickcroft. Kenner. Gallagher. Sutton, this is good play by Blackbird. It could become very good play because this is Wilcox. And there's Gallagher. And that was Keown that got it away. It should have been 3-1. And that would have sealed the points. Can Arsenal make Blackburn Rovers pay? Overmars. Light. Flowers has come. And has judged it very well. Got to sprint back because this is Flickcroft for Blackburn. Sutton's by the penalty spot, Sherwood is beyond him, Gallagher's in there as well, it needs the right cross, it's got it, it's Sherwood and it should have been a goal, it might be now, and still Blackburn can't get the telling third. How on earth did the captain miss? Not once but twice. Last defender. Flickcroft. Sherwood's timed his run well, and this time surely he must score, or has he shown too much of it to Seaman? Seaman should have gathered it. Still Sherwood has a chance, and this time, at the fourth attempt, he seals victory for Blackburn. What a saga. Off the line, off the bar, back up the other end, off the keeper, and finally, at long, long last, the goal that makes the game safe for Roy Hodgson's team. Tim Sherwood's fourth goal in eight games, the best scoring spell of his entire career. The final whistle, greeted by boos around Highbury. The game turned around completely by a valiant Blackburn performance in the second half. They trailed to overmass goal, but Jason Wilcox put them level with his left foot. Kevin Gallagher scored a quite wondrous volleyed goal to edge Blackburn in front, and then Tim Sherwood needed four chances to score and took the fourth and final one.